All right, today I want to give you a small tutorial on how to use animations in Construct 3. First of all, we're starting off with our just normal um, using the animate, or excuse me, using the sprite editor to just use the blocks for platform. So if we preview this, you can see that, hey, we have just a platform here, just a black bar, and we have um, just a square, uh, a pink square as our player. So what I'd like to do is you can come over here to the player you can double click it to bring up the editor and on animations over here we can right click to say add an animation and I'm gonna rename this animation to idle. Now in this animation we have uh, you know our first frame here which is zero what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the file folder and import our art. So I'm gonna import idle let's say you know two through nine and one open that up all right and so here we have our animation now the first thing you're gonna need to do is notice that the hitbox and all this stuff is all stretched out so if I, I go to the hitbox we've got this all weird we get the point of origin there in the middle um, let's clean this up so we want to crop up here and we want to click the down arrow and say apply this to the entire animation and look we just took all that blank space and we made it nice and tight which should adjust our um, hitbox if your hitbox is pretty crazy you can go through and adjust some of the points and edit those All right, should apply it to the whole animation next what I want to do you click the actual animation you're talking about here and uh, you can start adjusting the speed at any time you can click the this play button here to preview your idle now that's pretty slow so what I want to do is increase the speed I'm just gonna guess I'm gonna put it at 20 and I do want it to loop so once it gets to the last frame I want it to go back to the first frame and redo it so let's look at this preview now okay that's a little fast alright Santa looks like he's out of breath so here I'm gonna change this down to maybe 15 see what that does preview it works for me for right now so now that uh, you know let's uh, as far as the hitbox that's something that you, you might want to fix later just for this tutorial though we're not going to worry about that I'm going to go ahead and click out of it so now I still have my player here and it's still just this um, square pink uh, you know zone of color what I need to do is go to the event sheet and I need to say out event and go to player and say hey if the player is not excuse me is moving click on that I wanna set the animation to so go to player set animation to idle now this is a string value so you have to put it into the um, quotation marks and it has to be the exact spelling of how you did it. so if you had idle 1 idle 2 idle 3 you would put that in here and have to it have to say the exact same thing same spelling and all so I'm gonna say down you say well mr. Dumas this right here is moving I don't want him to idle when he's moving you're simply gonna click that right click and say invert so now this reads if the player is not moving set animation to idle alright so go, let's go back to our layout we can see that it is just a block there so I'm gonna press play and now we have Santa over here to the side really tough to see um, but he's over there idling off the block so let's uh, make an adjustment really quick alright let's put him right here it's gonna be a size issue with the art but now you can see our Santa is just idling. Now if I move him, right, he's still idling, so we're going to have to change the animation to um, a different, uh, or we're gonna have to set a different animation for when he's moving. So back to the event sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna copy this whole entire block, right, and paste it and say, if our player is moving so if our player is moving then we want to
set animation to our next animation, which I'm going to call running here. So we go back to the player. If we double click, remember we're going to right click and add animation. I'm going to name this one running. And we're going to do the same procedure where I take and I go to the file folder and let's look for run. So here I have run. So I'm going to open that frame first. I want to make sure I get these in the correct order. So now I'm going to open up run two through nine. And then here at the end, I'm going to add in the remaining frames, 10 and 11. All right, so from the beginning, let's see what it looks like. If we click on the animation up here, I'm going to loop this as well. And then I don't know what the speed looks like, but I'm going to set it to 15 just to, to see. Let's not forget to go ahead and crop to the entire animation, so apply it all. And we're going to click through to make sure that we did that. Looks good. Now I want to play that animation. And this is what Santa looks like when he's running. All right. So let's test it out and see how it works. We have Santa idling. And then when he's moving left or right, he's running. Now you're going to have to use your controls to set... Um, he, the, by default they're always facing right so you're going to have to set your controls when you press the left arrow or the A key for WASD controls that you want to set the animation as mirrored so it flips him and he's facing the right direction when he runs that's going to be it for this tutorial um, so play around with that and uh, see what kind of different animations you can set uh, to your player sprite